Paper production begins with the arrival of logs at the mill. The pulp is made from a blend of 65% maple, 25% birch, and 10% poplar, requiring to tons of wood to produce one ton of pulp. Logs first enter a debarking drum, where bark is removed in about 20 minutes. The bark is burned to generate steam for mill operations. The bark logs travel by conveyor and are chopped into small pieces called kindling. These chips are stored outdoors year-round in massive piles totaling about 30,000 tons. The next step is pulping. The kindling is washed and cooked for several hours at 315F inside large washers. A recuperation boiler burns lignin-rich black liquor at 1,800F, recovering chemicals and producing additional steam dot after cooking. The brown pulp is washed and sent to a thickener, where quality is checked manually. The pulp is then bleached in an alkaline extraction tower using chlorine dioxide, gradually turning white. Excess water is removed before the pulp enters the paper machine, running at 3,500 feet per minute. The machine reduces water content from 95% to 5%. The paper is pressed, analyzed, and rolled into giant spools weighing over 35 tons and containing 37 miles of paper. These rolls are cut, stored, and fed by robots into cutters producing 55,000 sheets per minute. 